Well, it's time now for Ask the Expert. It's that time of year when you want to work out outside. Have you ever tried a kettlebell workout? It is a good backyard exercise, a good anywhere exercise. Allison That's right. Schnelli from Kaizen Studios here to tell us about kettlebells. Kettlebells are easily portable, so they yes, are. you can go they inside. They have handles. That's amazing. <laughs> nice. You can just walk right outside with them. I like but how she's <laughs> carrying the huge one and you have this little itty bitty one. She's the professional. I'm the amateur. I'm, so. I'm going to switch to that one eventually. Okay. Um, but yeah, kettlebells are a great exercise. They're, they're all encompassing. You're getting strength. You're getting power. You're getting cardio most of the time. So they're really good. Quick workout, especially in the summer. You can take them out in your backyard. Excellent um, way to work out outside. So we're going to start with a goblet squat. The first two exercises we're going to oh, do are Oh, these are, are my favorite. So uh -oh. goblet squat. You're going to hold the kettlebell yeah. up at the top, so you have the handle's on top. Um, on a goblet squat, since you're holding the weight at your chest, you're going to get, obviously, your lower body, your glutes and your hamstrings, but you're also going to get quite a bit of back in this exercise, too. So you're going to go down just like you would in a regular squat, keeping your chest up. Mm -hmm. Knees are going to be wide, driving through your heels. So you're down and up on that one. This one, you know, about a two count, two count on the way down, two count on the way up. You could also, for a little bit more of a challenge, hold that in the low position. About 10 seconds and drive up through the heels. Do three sets of 30 of those. <laughs> and you You'll will not, cry. You will not be able to sit down for Steve's a week. Steve's favorite exercise, one of the many. <laughs> yes. And then the next one, squat to high pulse. So this is going to be a sumo squat. Your feet are just a little bit wider than hip width apart. Toes are slightly turned out just a little bit. You're squatting just like you did in your sumo, standing up or in your goblet squat, and then high pulse. So squat, elbows are high, using your upper back and your shoulders to pull that down, or the kettlebell up towards the ceiling. Elbows are high. Mm -hmm. um, the next one we're going to do is going to be a back exercise, so it's going to be a row. So I'm going to borrow the small one too. Okay. Ideally, you'd have two of the same size. I just wanted to show that there's different sizes of kettlebells, but you're going to do a renegade row holding a plank position over the kettlebell. So this is going to take a lot of core work, especially yes, since you're on these handles. Oh, you're on your feet and you're going to row one side. Obviously, like I said, your, your kettlebells are going to be the same weight and the same height, but you're about, about 10 on each side. If that seems a little bit too advanced for you, a little bit too intimidating, just go bent over row here and you're stabilizing through your back, keeping your back flat. So you can do that one just bent over. And then our last one is going to be a lunge. So kettlebell is going to be up overhead. You can hold it this way or you can hold it all the way up top. And you're going to alternate, or I'm sorry, your opposite leg you're stepping forward with. So it's going to be a big lunge step forward. Again, you're really going to have to stabilize through the stomach because of where that kettlebell is. A modification, if that's a little bit too hard, is just holding the kettlebell right at your shoulder. So okay. there's some modifications. Allison Schnelli, thanks for coming in. And thanks for carrying these <laughs> kettlebells with you. Have a question for the experts? Send an email to asktheexpert at tmj4.com. The voicemail number is on your screen.